Hello everyone, I'm Chef Chip and welcome to BHG at home. Today we're going to start off with a uh, simple chicken dish that everyone has at home. Basically all the ingredients uh, should be in your pantry. We are going to do a one pot chicken parmesan. Start with some oil of your choice, minced onion, fresh chopped garlic, basil, dry, and oregano, a pinch of salt and pepper. So what we're doing is we're sweating the onions with the garlic and the salt and pepper with the herbs, bring out all that nice flavor that we're gonna get out of this for the uh, sauce. Once translucent colors of the garlic and onions are there, we're gonna add approximately two and a half pounds of diced boneless breast of chicken. You can use white meat or dark meat. You can even actually keep the chicken on the bone if that's what you prefer. Try to continue to stir that chicken so that uh, it gets evenly cooked throughout the dish. Take your time. Heat's gonna be on low to medium so we don't burn anything. Next, you're gonna add any kind of white wine that you have in the house. We'll let that cook for a few minutes. And we're looking for an internal temperature on the chickens of 160 or better. So what we're adding is a basic marinara sauce. It's a whole peeled tomatoes, sauteed onions, garlic, basil, a pinch of sugar. The reason you look for the sugar is if your whole peeled tomatoes or the tomato product that you're working with is sweet enough to complement the chicken. We're gonna move on to the next step here, which is a pasta that we've cooked ahead of time. It's uh, water brought up to a boil, salted uh, to taste, and we prepared the pasta al dente, which is a firm texture, gives it some body, added to the cooked marinara that we put into the chicken dish. Chopped parsley, Parmesan cheese, fresh, basil, shredded fresh mozzarella, pinch of crushed red pepper. We're gonna give it a good stir. Next thing you wanna do is make sure that you have a dish that's bakeable. We're gonna take that chicken dish that's mixed with the pasta, add it to your casserole dish, top it with some grated Parmesan and chopped parsley. We'll add some more fresh mozzarella to the top and we're gonna bake it for approximately 10 to 15 minutes at a preheated 350 degree oven. Okay, so what you're looking for is some nice energetic bubbles throughout the pasta throughout. Nice color on the cheeses, a little crispy on the pasta. Okay, you're gonna give nice generous portions. Again, this is just a, another way to utilize some chicken cutlets in your home with some products that you have in your pantry top it off with some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Next, we're gonna finish it off with some fresh chopped parsley, make it look pretty at home for the family. Crushed red pepper, for those of you that like a little bit of zest. This dish freezes real well and holds for approximately two to three days in your refrigerator. I hope you enjoyed, manja, and uh, look forward to seeing you next week and with BHG at home.